Arsenal 3-2 Bournemouth, Arsenal came from 2-0 down to beat the Cherries in the 97th minute following a rollercoaster afternoon at the Emirates. It is surely written in the stars. Two goals down, seemingly doomed and somehow Arsenal pulled themselves up from the depths of defeat to earn the biggest three points of their entire season. Substitute Reese Nelson, one of the club's own, was the hero. Netting a 97th minute winner to keep his side's Premier League title dream firmly on track as Manchester City continue to fight their ongoing uphill battle to catch the leaders, who are beginning to showcase all the qualities of champions. Mikel Arteta's players deserve all the plaudits as they got their head coach out of jail, despite their own shaky collective display, as the Spaniards' name boomed around the Emirates Stadium at the full-time whistle. His team selection was questionable but his positive changes were the key catalyst in wrestling back the game as it threatened to run away from them. Bournemouth were ahead after just nine seconds when Philip Billing stunned the hosts before Marcos Senesi doubled the Cherries' lead in the second half as Arsenal seemingly began to crack under the pressure. But they dusted themselves down and responded well as Thomas Partey and substitute Ben White stepped up to draw the Gunners' level before utter stoppage time Bedlam when Nelson struck a last gasp winner to preserve Arsenal's five-point lead at the summit. Prior to this rollercoaster encounter, Arsenal were flying after recovering from a brief mid-season wobble and with a two-legged Europa League knockout clash with Sporting on the horizon, surely any temptation to rotate would have been better served in Europe with Hungary champions City hot in pursuit of the Gunners following their 2-0 lunchtime victory over Newcastle. But in came to Kahira Toymyasu, Partey and Fabio Vieira anyway as White. Granit Xhaka and Jorginho dropped out of the team that thrashed the Toffees 4-0 in midweek. It's clear the changes somewhat backfired as Arsenal were a shadow of their usual Red Haw selves before the comeback as they struggled to get out of first gear. Gary O'Neill's side were ruthless and capitalized on their chances before they were dealt a heartbreaking, damaging late blow. Much to their credit, Arsenal displayed the heart of champions to fight their way back into the game but given the Cherries are fighting relegation. This is a match they simply had to win prior to kick off. And they eventually found a way, by hook or by crook. Starting Toymyasu against Manchester City was a decision Arteta quickly lived to regret last month. For all of the Japan international's defensive qualities, he was off the pace that night and it cost Arsenal dearly in a match that could still prove decisive come the end of the campaign. Dot, dot. His lackluster back pass gifted Kevin De Bruyne the opener totally against the run of play before his marker Jack Grealish steered home City's second after the interval. Tomiyasu is often fielded to prioritize defensive security after he coped impressively up against Mohamed Salah in October when Arsenal pipped Liverpool to a 3-2 victory in a pulsating end-to-end -end thriller. It's clear Arteta considers Tomiyasu to be one of his most dependable players but on this occasion. It appears the Spaniard was trying to be too clever for his own good as he channeled his inner Pep Guardiola. Guardiola is often guilty of overcomplicating his team selections and rotating where it is sometimes not necessary. That was the case here on Saturday as Arsenal's recent momentum was disrupted by the spirited cherries.